What is going on my fellow zombie slayers? It is Nelly B here and in today's video I'm going to be talking about the PPSH-41 pretty much breaking it down tell you what you're going to want to use with it and tell you why you should get this out of the box. This is one of the new weapons that was added into Garad Krovi. It was remastered from World at War and just to let you know that nothing has changed from this weapon apart from the ammo and the aesthetics. The updated graphics of course are there. They pretty much didn't change anything. Jason Blundell himself told people don't change the ammo or not change the damage, the fire rate, anything on this weapon keep the iron sights the same keep it the way it is don't do it like you did with the hg40 or the mp40 or whatever but this weapon is amazing you're going to want to get it out of the box it's probably one of the best base weapons that you will get without pack a punch even with pack a punch without double pack a punch if you're talking no double pack a punch then this is the weapon you're probably going to want to get for the high rounds if you're trying to do like no double pack a punch challenge that's actually a good challenge i might do that one day but the ammo in the clip is 71 and the ammo in the reserves is 426 for the base non pack a punch weapon now for the pack a punch weapon it is called the grim reaper it has 115 ammo in the clip and 690 ammo in reserves guys now this weapon is amazing the camos on it look ridiculously awesome and i hope they add it into at least one other map hopefully the giant or der eisendraka or keep it going in dlc4 because i really want to see this weapon in another map put it in a different environment and see and test it out there just to see how it works test it against you know all the other things but anyways, guys, this weapon is still a weapon you're going to want to get. If you're not, like again I said, if you're not including double pack a punch, because with a double pack a punch, pretty much any weapon is good if you can double pack a punch it. With dead wire, blast furnace, sometimes even fireworks. But dead wire and blast furnace are probably the best ones to get to go for high rounds to compare them, you know, because pretty much infinite damage to infinite rounds. But yeah, guys, this weapon is still a good weapon. It's probably not the best, um, because... You know, wall weapons are probably even better because of the double pack punch and you can get ammo off the wall. Anyways, guys, that is my spiel on the PPSH-41. It is a still a good weapon. In World of War, it was just so, like, not even necessary to compare this to other weapons because of the high fire rate, the high damage, the high mobility, the high ammo count. And the only thing that really competed with it was what I can think of is the MG-42 and the Browning. That's pretty much the only things I can think of. But that's just because the weapon was just such, like so diverse in what it could do you could camp with it you can train with it it was just an amazing weapon and it was it's nice to see it come back but it definitely isn't the same simply because of the double pack punch like i said before it kind of ruins the nostalgic weapons i mean to get this out of the box it's still pretty good because of the high ammo count you don't really run through ammo that much unless you're only using this and you're killing zombies off singly and you're excessively using ammo but anyways guys that is it for the video if you did enjoy feel free to leave a like after this, I'm starting a new series on my channel. I will announce that tomorrow with the challenge that I am doing with my friend Beastie. But anyways, guys, if you did enjoy the video, feel free to leave a like. If you're new to the channel, feel free to subscribe. And yeah, guys, peace.